I'm picking. <laughs> Take it away, Mom. <laughs> chocolate raspberry oatmeal bake. We had this for breakfast earlier in the week and it was so good, everybody loved it. We thought, let's make it again because I need a breakfast for us to have that's easy, grab and go on Sunday mornings anyways, because before church things can get a little chaotic, so I like to have something that's already pre-made so we're not scrambling around trying to feed everybody and get all of our instruments loaded up and everything that we need for leading worship in the morning. So we're gonna make this ahead for Sunday breakfast anyways. The variation that we made before was blackberries and it was delicious. This is gonna be raspberries with chocolate chips. You can make it with bananas. You can make it with chocolate peanut butter. You can make it with raisins and walnuts. Like, the sky is the limit. So you make the flavor combination, peanut butter and jelly, whatever suits your fancy. So we're gonna give you the template, and then you jazz it up. Okay. Sure, but let's start with the dry. So, okay, what is it? Oh, can I see? Okay. Oh, sure. Okay. First, you're going to need chocolate chips and raspberries, since it is called ra raspberry chocolate chip. That's right. We'll do those mix-ins okay. um, after we have everybody all mixed together. So I'll, ha I'll have you say it in order as we go so okay. people don't get confused. Okay. So let's start with the dry. We need, you can hold it up and show them, two cups. Two um, cups. Of rolled oats. Yeah. And then um, we'll need some cheese. Okay. Chia. Chia seeds. Chia seeds. I have no clue what that is. Um, <laughs> and then you're going to need coconut oil spray. That's what we spray the pan with. And then pink salt. Salt. Um, you can use any kind of salt, but we have, we have pink. Yep. And then the, the last two dry ingredients are... Ground cinnamon. Cinnamon and baking powder. Okay. So two cups of oats. You want to do it, baby? Yep. Okay. That's one, and then I bet you, oh, this is all we have left. Let me pour it into the okay. cup and see how much it even is. Because mm -hmm. it might not be a full cup. Can you hold it over the bowl? Oh. Mm -hmm. Are we anywhere close? Kind of. Nah, it's like a cup and a half. Oh well, it's okay. It'll be like eggier than yours. So two full cups of oats, hopefully you have it. All right, thank you. I'm just mashing it to make it I know. pretty. We don't need to do that. All right, okay. chia seeds, we need a quarter cup. You hold this. Can I pour it into the cup? Yeah, open the bag for me if you want. Cool. Over the bowl. Wait, wait, wait. These guys are oh, yeah, these guys are little and they go everywhere. <laughs> I didn't know I was supposed to be holding that. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be Quarter great. cup, third of a cup. Throw some chia seeds in there. All right, dry ingredients. We're still rocking and rolling. One teaspoon of cinnamon. So open that, and then you have to pop the silver, the plastic thing off. So can you get your nails underneath it? Mm, barely. Ah! I'm doing it. You are doing it. Good. All right, one teaspoon. Ish. <laughs> Whatever happened. I know. Cinnamon is cinnamon and garlic are like one of these things that I'm like, why measure? You just want a lot. There. Not on It's like side. a teaspoon and a half. Who cares? Taste good. It's gonna taste very cinnamony. I hope this tastes good. It's gonna be delicious. All right, and then salt. You want a quarter? You want to? Is it too hard for you to do the grinder? No, I got you it. can do it. You want a quarter teaspoon of salt, but we're just gonna grind it. Let's okay. go for Ready? it. Ready? Yep. Go. Good. Keep How going. Much? Keep going. Fill up that guy. Keep grinding. Keep grinding. I like. Um, sweet things to also be salty, so I like a little extra, so like... I don't. Keep going. I'm gonna stop here. No, that's not... Look, all you have, you have no idea how much salt I put in it last time and you didn't even know. Promise. That's a loss. We're gonna balance it with maple syrup, don't you worry. Oh, can I tell them about what I made? Sure, tell them. I made Rudolph. So I just... Oh, his nose is falling off. Yeah. I sticky tacked a little pom-pom onto his nose and I sticky tacked two of my earrings to make his... To make his little reindeer horns. All right, the last dry ingredient is baking powder. It's one teaspoon. Mine's kind of old, so it's like sticking together. All right, there we go. One flat teaspoon of baking powder. And now our dry ingredients are done. <laughs> okay, sneak. Now our dry ingredients are done and we will start folding in the wets. So you stir all those together without flying it over the counter. Be easy, be easy. All right, then we're gonna do one cup of whatever kind of milk you wanna use. This is unsweetened almond milk. Oh, I like the sweetened kind. I know, but we're gonna add syrup. Okay. Can I do it? 
Um, I wanted to, but sure. Okay, well here. You're already doing it. You pour it in from the from this guy. Do you have it? Yeah. If you're gonna take it from me, take it. All right, one cup of whatever milk you're using. I'm not. This looks like something I know, but I'm not sure. One cup it. of um. Greek yogurt. This is not Greek. This is thinner. Greek yogurt would probably be better. Um, I like organic dairy just so that the cattle are, have not been exposed to GMOs and antibiotics and hormones and all the things. So we do organic. This is plain. You don't want it already sweetened for this because you're going to add your own sweetener. So here we go. One cup of can I do yogurt. It? Do you want to do it? Yes, you can do it. That Good. looks about right. It really does. Perfect timing. You might need... You might need the red spatula to get it all out, though. It sure does. Can I hold one of them? Yes. I'll hold this yeah. while you scoop it out. There you go. And then go sideways. Good idea. Better idea than mine. There you go. Okay. I'm gonna mix that. Sweet. We're done with the full cup. All right. So egg whites. I use liquid. Um, you can also do. Um, hold on. Let me finish mixing this. The egg whites from four eggs if you want to separate your own, but I am going to do... It got on my shirt. It did get on you. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, one egg white is about two tablespoons, so if I was going to do four egg whites, that would be eight tablespoons, also known as a half a cup. I'll be right back. Can I put the egg whites in while you're gone? Yep. Thank you. That was a quarter. Here's another quarter. That's a half a cup of egg whites. This is a high protein breakfast because if it was just an oatmeal bake, then it would be a blood sugar nightmare. We need the protein and the cinnamon, FYI, to stabilize the blood sugar response from this fella. All right, so we're just incorporating all the dry and the wet. What do we have left on wet? Maple syrup and vanilla. I think we've done everything else. All right, so maple syrup. I did two tablespoons in the batch last time and they said it was not, oh, cute. <laughs> They said it was not quite sweet enough for them, so they were drizzling some extra maple syrup on the top of their slices the last time I made it. So instead of doing that, I'm gonna try it with, um, a, instead of two tablespoons, I'll do four in this batch, which would be a quarter cup. So we'll do a quarter cup of maple syrup for the whole thing, and then hopefully they won't need extra on the top. Maybe like three. Do you wanna pour? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> maybe like three cups, maybe? Three tablespoons? Yeah. Why, you want less? Yeah, because in case it's not, in case Okay, well then don't do a full quarter cup. There you go. We just won't fill it all the way up to the top. Perfect. Oh, Dad's starting to go. It's okay. I won't let him leave without you. Oh, no. He's doing the blower. Oh, he's blowing off the yard. It's not, don't worry. It's not the go-kart. Okay. You want to hold the bottle and I'll hold the spoon? Hey, I thought we were doing three of those. Oh, no, 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 no. Three tablespoons, which is the same as, um, or four tablespoons is a quarter cup. Do a little extra. You want, oh, okay. So two, <laughs> two tablespoons of vanilla. <laughs> you said do extra. Whatever. All right, so that's all of our wet and dry. That's everybody except the mix-ins. This guy is ready to go, and then we are just going to customize it. This kind of looks like something from Halloween or something, because I see, like, actually, no, this Get reminds, it all. This reminds me of Star Wars and, like, the new baby Yoda. Star Wars? Why? Because there's, like, eggs in, this, in the movie. Oh, it looks like the little Star Wars baby eggs. Okay, yeah. keep mixing, keep mixing. Good. All right, sweet. So we want a full cup of whatever fruit you're doing. This is. What do you? Uh, all right, that's about a half a cup. All right, so I'm guessing it's this whole carton of raspberries. I wasn't sure. It looked like a lot, so I wasn't sure. But the whole little carton of raspberries, that was a full cup, and then we'll do a half cup, thank you very much, of chocolate chips. Easy does it, easy does it. Okay, okay. <laughs> I like chocolate. Chill. Okay, mix that guy all together. Do you want to spray the pan? Um, no. No, I'll do it? Okay. All right, I have a silicone. This will probably bake the best in an eight by eight square, and I don't, yeah. <laughs> I don't have a glass one. I just have a silicone eight by eight, because otherwise, if I, ha if I used the glass Pyrex that I have, which is like a nine by 13 or whatever size they are, it would be too flat and skinny. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be good. You want the right thickness, so an eight by eight really is the best size pan for this. Um, or you could use a round like cake pan or something. So I'm just gonna spray this guy. Quit being weird. <laughs> all right, once, once you feel like you have it all mixed together, then pour it in, sister. This feels like droopy, but then at the bottom, like, Let's go. The people don't have all day. Pour it in the pan. You don't feel like it's ready? Nope. 
Good job, can you hold it? I know, it does kind of look disgusting. <laughs> it's the chia seeds that look gross. And the texture. I know. The chia seeds kind of plump up a little bit when they're exposed to moisture, so they do sort of look like little caviar eggs or something. And little fish smooth, eggs. I'm going to smooth it out so that it doesn't... Okay, you smooth it out. Quit! <laughs> I like chocolate! I know. All right, do you feel confident putting this in the oven? Yes. I do, too. I think you got it. I think you got it. It's already come up. Oh yeah, sorry. It's uh, 350 degrees for 25 minutes and ours is already up to temp. So here she goes. I need this. <laughs> you do? The pan's on, huh? No, I need to get those out. Oh. There's uh, cast iron skillets in there. I know, I need to get those out. I don't out. know if you're strong enough, baby. No offense. Nope, I, I'm not. They're, they're pretty big. Yeah, and I don't have them. Maybe we'll show you how to clean and season the cast iron pans in another video. of our finished product on Instagram. So go check at MegDorman underscore wellness for the Instagram feed and we'll try to post a pretty picture when it is all baked. Thank you for joining us. Please put in the comments if you've ever made anything like this before, what combinations sound good to you. If you're going to try it, let us know. Thanks for being here. Happy Vlogmas. <laughs>